fun. We have a lot. To... Hello, everyone. Hi, we're live. We are live. Okay, I wanted to remind and here our we go. community group. Oh, right, that's a good plan that, that we're going live. You wanna, right can now. I share it in the thing? I don't know. No, think because I can, it's eh? in sneak peek, and uh, this is a closed group. Hello, mm -hmm. everyone. And I'm gonna just let some people in. Yeah, uh, Dia, no, Dia. Alicia. I always like mix you and Dia. I often call her Alicia, and I often call you Dia. Hello, everyone. It says we have zero viewers. Oh, now we have two. We're ready to start. Um, hi. You know what? I was looking to old videos and we did a Kairi Deficit Bouquet in November. We did. We did. We did. And uh, Jeff was like, how long is this bouquet? I'm like, one hour, sir. <laughs> we need one full hour because we have so much to share. I wrote in the uh, post what you will learn today. You do not have to watch live. This will be posted after. I highly recommend you listen while you're doing um while you are doing laundry walking um laundry walking uh, cooking listen listen to the words you will learn so much today tons of people joined this morning i put the thing in my insta stories i'm like just come to sneak peek right now and stay here this is where you really learn a lot about your weight loss if you want to know more about our obviously your weight loss and and i guess our what we do, and also our belief system and how we help people lose weight. It's in the guide section. So much in the guide there section. There is amazing, yeah, amazing content, content in the guide, in the guide. section, yeah. actually. Like, uh, amazing content. Mm. And so once you get into the guide section, if you're like, oh, I really like this, I want more, you know that you're the perfect customer for the 10-day free trial. Yes, okay, 10-day free trial. That's what I should have added to our um, post. I will add it after. Obviously, 10-day free trial link is everywhere on the sneak peek group. So just scroll a little bit and you'll find... 10 day free trial and you'll be able to join 10 day free trial to join it it ends tomorrow and it's a 10 day so it starts the day you join uh you have 10 free days and then yes. it turns into a monthly membership which we highly recommend you give it at least one month um because you need to you have so much to learn done done she did it all i did it all she crushed it okay okay why is talking about calorie deficit so important to us like why do we spend so much time teaching the internet about calorie deficit? So many reasons. Mm. It really is the foundation for you to be able to create weight loss your way. Yeah. It's the foundation to understand how a human body loses weight. And once you really understand that and yeah. and feel it in your soul, yeah. then you're ready to create your way without any noise of what yeah. you should or shouldn't be doing. There's no good or bad food. There's no right or wrong. It's just like, okay, it's like a blank slate. I agree. And I think that knowing this knowledge, like what you're going to learn today, if you really take it in and you really are like, okay, wow, I see how now that I know this, there's so much that I have to unlearn from being on so many diets, like those rules. And the reason why you need your weight loss in your life, even after knowing about calorie deficit, is almost that reminder. It's that reminder of like, okay, because no matter what, even if you know calorie deficit, it's still going to like sneak in. Oh, yeah. And like you're going to like not want to eat at night and you're going to want to like lower carbs for supper. Like all of those rules that we were, all of those like, yeah, rules that we were said, this is how you lose weight. Because this is the thing, you guys, when you join a program that tells you what to eat, when to eat, what not to eat, you create a relationship with those foods and you actually like put them on this like pedestal of this is the type of food I need to eat. Like if I eat that, I lose weight. And if I don't eat that, then I should lose weight. And this like kind of like, ah, it puts a, persp a different perspective you've ever had about weight loss. It's like life changing once you know calorie deficit. Life changing. But if you don't keep that reminder and actually change a lot more than just your knowledge and calorie deficit, like your language, your relationship with food, you're not going to be able to let go of all that noise. It's definitely something you need yeah. to stay in touch yeah. with. It's like I say, stay connected. Like people are stay like, connected. how do you do what you do and you know, lost the weight, don't get it back. It's like, I stay connected. So it's not this one thing. It's like, I stay connected to what I know, yep. what I want yep. and who I am. Yep. 100%. Here we go. Okay. Are you guys ready? Ah. So the reason why it's called boot camp is because it's going to be intense because yeah. we have a lot to say and it's one hour, but we want to, you know, to use your time appropriately okay mm -hmm. as we're talking you guys any questions please put them in the comments yeah. if we know we're going to answer them further uh, in the yeah. boot camp we won't answer them immediately but we will come back we will answer them as if you guys finish this and you still have 
any questions, send team an email. Yes. Anything. If you're like, yeah, but right. I wonder if blue, 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 blah, 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 blah. Like as you're just kind of open up your mind and as we're talking, maybe write down any questions or observations or anything you have. And at the end of this hour, if you still feel like you have things that are not left um, answered, then I want you guys to send team an email. Okay. Okay, everyone. I just uh, wrote what the uh, email to team was. Team at your way, our support .com. Okay. First, Ooh. before we... Okay. Okay. Audio keeps cutting out. That's super annoying. I mean, uh, is it cutting out for everyone? I don't know. Two people said it. Okay. Two different people. Oh. Mm. Mm. And there's not much we can do there's here. There's not much we can do. It's connection. It's mm. uh, things are good over here. The Wi-Fi. Um, audio is all good here. Okay, but that's good then. So okay. we, if your audio is coming cutting out, it means maybe come back. It, it is Facebook, right? Yeah. Uh, not for me. Okay, okay. audio is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so real quick, guys. What is a calorie deficit? So... Calorie deficit is not a diet, okay? That is not, being in a calorie deficit is not a specific diet. Calorie deficit is a state of being. Yes. It is how every single diet you've ever been on in the past has, how why you lost weight when you were doing keto, when you were counting points, when you were counting calories, when you were following a meal plan, when you cut out sugar. If you lost weight during any of those times, it's because you created a calorie deficit less energy coming in than going out and that is like scientific yes. like it is that has been proven you don't have to question that a everyone loses weight while in a calorie deficit more energy out than coming in we're going to explain that but it's so important that you remind yourself of that because what's happening is the diet industry has put in so many rules that we think we need to follow to lose weight but if you're not in a calorie deficit even if you follow those rules you will not lose weight so if you've ever been like oh, i just like i'm eating so much healthier than i was but i'm not losing weight it's because you're still not in a calorie deficit um it just explains a lot of the confusion out there and so just just knowing that can really take away the like i know i should stop eating chocolate nope nope you don't need to stop eating chocolate if you want to lose weight you have to create a calorie deficit yeah so that's where you can really create your way because it can include chocolate and wine and or not chocolate and wine creating a calorie deficit on a consistent basis looks different mm. for everyone yes but everyone that's losing weight or has lost weight has created a calorie deficit less energy coming in than going out okay, okay. energy in energy in is pretty simple guys any Food. calorie yeah foods and liquids, liquids that have calories so anything that's going in that contains calories is considered calories in done uh, energy out. So this okay. one requires a little bit more of a conversation. So there's actually four ways that you get energy out that, that would be your total energy expenditure in the entire day. So one way is your BMR. So that's your basal metabolic rate. That is actually about 70% of your total calories out. Which is huge when you think about it. It huge. is 70% of the energy you burn every single day comes from your BMR. And what that is, is basically just you functioning. So if you were in a coma, you would still burn that same amount of calories okay so it's literally the it takes your organs to function um, your blood to pump that requires energy and that is where most of your energy comes out it takes energy to keep you alive literally okay most of the energy you burn in the run of a day just comes from keeping you alive the only so a lot this does vary for people though your genetics your, your gender, yeah. your age, yeah. your uh, body composition, depending on all of those things. So the younger you are, the more energy that you expend. If you're a male, you expend more energy. Um, if you have more muscles, you would expend more energy, just keeping yourself alive. So this is, this is not really in your control, okay? You could build more muscles, okay? Whew. But there's other parts. How about we work on the 30%? You know what I mean? Because it's such a small part. Like you changing your body composition, first of all, is so much work. Oh my gosh. And just like, just because we say this could have an effect on it, doesn't mean that that's where you should be spending your time and energy. 
honestly, the only people that I think should be working on getting more muscles are people that absolutely really enjoy that mm -hmm. and that are looking for something other than weight loss out of their goal. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's your BMR. Okay. So then your NEAT. Okay. So your NEAT is any type of movement or energy that you expend that is not exercise. So for example, like, th would this be considered our need? Like yeah. us, like as a, as yeah. work, we talk, we're like, br I'm burning energy right now. Yeah. Just moving my hands. Yeah. Um, you know, walking in the grocery store. Yep. Uh, laundry, be laundry, being a mother, co yeah. cooking, um, so gardening. It, yeah. So it has nothing to do. It's not like exercise. It's you're moving because you're a human being that's not in a coma. And that neat is about 15% of the energy you burn. And that is an easier way for you to burn more energy with your neat than let's say change your body composition. <laughs> And that's something you can do tomorrow. Yeah. You know, today, you know yeah. how people, they would say like park further away, take the stairs and you're like, okay. Yeah. It that does actually add up. adds up. That actually can make a massive difference. And you know what I love about NEAT? It's accessible to pretty much everyone. everyone. I agree. So as simple as you guys, every time you need to go up the stairs, instead of just piling everything on the stairs, just go up the stairs. Yeah. So little, th if, if you work a desk job, maybe you have an alarm on your thing and once an hour you get up and just do one little bit. So yeah. neat, increasing your neat can, is, is going to increase your energy out. And I want you to think of like people that have a everyday job where their neat is really high. So someone yes. that works like at a bakery, um, like the, the, I always think of the bakery section at, at the Sobeys or co-op. Interesting example. Uh, yes. I see them. I mean, it is the bakery, but I see them standing, walking around yes. like their neat is way higher oh, than yeah. me that sits Absolutely. at a desk all day. So like I find, because they have a lot of steps. So think about like how many, like you stay standing all day. You're moving around. You're, 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 it's not the same as the person that's like, bagging and is just at the cash. It's like someone that's like walking around. I see them. I see them like walking around. I They're thought she was doing construction worker. Nope. Bakery section. Bakery at section at Sobeys. It's more our people um, uh, than the construction people. But I feel like off or a nurse, a, a nurse. nurse. Yeah. A lot. That is a lot of neat. A lot of energy is, is uh, used there for their 15%. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, or even just being a mom, you know how moms yes. like, they're like just running a, how did you lose that weight after having your baby off oh, running around this top with this toddler? You know, they often like, that's like, a yeah, yeah. Thing. it's a thing. Like you move way more than a retired person that sits and reads yeah. all day. Yeah. So just like, so, yeah. Okay. Um, so okay. the next way is your, uh, TEF, which is your thermal effect of food. So it's basically the amount of calories required to digest your food. So it's, it's actually a big job for your body to digest food. Mm. So it requires energy. It's about 10%, 10%, yep. Yep. 10 of your energy out comes from you digesting food. It's important for you to know that protein requires a higher uh, thermal effect. Like it, it requires the most amount of energy to break down. But again, but yeah, that's one of those yeah. like little things. Yeah, that's, don't make uh, big changes of your life because you want to burn more energy and just eat protein for that reason. It's the same thing as changing your body composition. Yeah. If you want to eat more protein for a reason other than yeah. weight loss, amazing. Yeah. Okay. It's just not, it's like the, that's like the 0.1% of the difference that we don't need to really worry about. Exactly. Okay. And for exercise, so eat is exercise. That's five to 10%. So I think like that makes 105. So like, it, it's like of five to 10%. Varies. Yes, exactly. But like exercise does not, like exercise that you would do every single day that is considered like literally moving your body for exercise, walking, spinning, swimming, whatever. Um, that is just five to 10%. So just showing you right there, we put, uh, exercise at such a, an importance in weight loss when it really is such a small part of how much energy you burn in a day. So when we tell people being in a calorie deficit is more out than in, they're like, I have to burn 2000 calories of exercise a day. I'm like, exercise is not the only way you burn energy. So I think this conversation, that's where we want it to, that's what we want to stay here though. A lot of people think that the only way they burn energy is exercise, is through exercising. And no, you burn energy all day just living your life. That's really important to know. It's so important to know because exercise is not accessible to everyone, mm -hmm. but we want everyone to know that weight loss is accessible, accessible to, to them. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can lose weight without exercising. It is so important. Again, 
I honestly think that if you're looking for something other than weight loss, amazing, let's, let's talk about exercise. But right now, if you're looking for weight loss and you do not currently exercise, let's focus on the other stuff yeah. first and then let's build that build. I agree because we all know that exercising is so good for our health. Like it's so, it's like one of the best things you could do for your health. Absolutely. Um, and we obviously move our bodies every single day. We highly value exercise, but we also with our knowledge know that that is not uh, with for weight loss that is not necessary and it's also just it we don't do it for that like that's really important yeah but obviously highly recommend it of course okay okay so guys that's that's basically everything you need to know about a calorie deficit in out like what it actually is check if there's any questions about that, put them in the comments while we're moving on to the next thing. So one of the biggest or most like common questions we have on the internet is how will I know if I am in a calorie deficit? Especially because we say not to count calories or we say it's not needed. And we're going to get more into counting calories in a little bit, you guys. Yeah. So remember that we're kind of looking at this from a lens of not calorie counting. So if I don't count my calories, how do I know if I'm in a deficit? How do you think you would know if you're in a deficit? Now, if you've been listening to us, you're like, well, you're just going to start losing weight. The trend of the scale is going to go down. So for example, for me, the last couple of weeks, the trend of the scale has been going down. I know I've been really intentionally trying to be more in a deficit. What does that mean is that I don't count calories, but every single day within my choices, I'm being more intentional with what is going in. So I'm like, okay. How can I create awareness around my calories? How can I, but not counting, I'm not adding up. I have no clue how many calories I'm eating in a run of a day. Yeah, you don't need math. Like I said, we're gonna get more into that. So, and what Jose was saying is the trend of the scale. So here's the thing, you guys, we are not saying the scale's the be all and end all. We're mm -hmm. not saying that, okay? What we are saying is the scale is a very accessible tool to you. Mm -hmm. And yes, your weight, the scale is measuring your weight loss or gain, not your fat gain or loss. They're two right. different things yeah. because we retain water or we're dehydrated. You're on your period. There's, you're having pooped in your a couple days. Your weight varies a lot. It absolutely does. That is absolutely normal. And that's why we focus on the trend of the scale. Over time. Over time. If you, over a two week period, are being consistent with behaviors you've created a certain lifestyle for yourself. If after two weeks, you are not, the trend of the scale is not going down, then your lifestyle is not creating a calorie deficit, okay? And honestly, for most people, it doesn't take two weeks to see the trend. Two weeks is us being like safe, and it depends where you're at in your journey as well. Yeah. So if yes. you're, you know, if you do not have a high percentage of body fat, you are going to need to be more patient, patient. If you have a large amount of fat yeah. on your body, you you probably will see the results happening quicker. Yeah. Hey, there's no rule about when and how much and whatever. Remember that the focus is not to lose weight as quick as humanly possible. The focus is to lose weight in, in a, a way, way that feels sustainable, authentic. that feels authentic to you, that doesn't feel so hard. Because dieting is a feeling. Like it's not a particular behavior because you could be doing a behavior and you're not feeling like you're on a diet. And I think it's really important to realize if you feel deprived, if you feel hungry, if you feel that's you dieting, you need to connect that to like, or I'm doing this because I'm just chasing weight loss. So recognizing that um, you can lose weight without feeling that way. That's really important. And so when you do feel that way, because it will most likely happen because human beings are so used to dieting. They're so used to that. I need that feeling to lose weight. And so that's when you need to catch that feeling and say, I have some adjustments to do here because I know I can lose weight without feeling this way. So our recommendation, you guys, is that if your goal is weight loss, what you do for yourself is get on the scale. Yeah. It doesn't have to be every day. Nope. It's up to you. Obviously, trying to get on around the, in the morning is best just because it's there's not more any, consistent. More consistent. And yeah. you, when you're comparing, you're comparing yeah. apples to apples. Yeah. And watch the trend okay, yeah. without drama. Yeah. So without judgment. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's getting, there's no behavior that's bad. Honestly, like, it's not like, don't do that. Oh, that creates, no. Or wrong. No, it's what are my intentions? Am I getting on the scale to talk shit about myself or to like punish myself or to be like, yeah, well, that's what happens. You get, like, that's the intentions 
could be bad. So I think it's not, there's no behavior that's bad or wrong. It's the intentions behind it that we need to have a little, a deeper look into. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with getting on the scale every day, no. honestly. But if the intention every day is to punish or to make you behave a certain way, that's what we need to look into because there's a, um, a relationship there with your, your number or the scale that we need to work on. And it's just data. We it's have, just uh, data. And we're going to move on from that topic because yeah. we don't have time, but we have a ton of content oh, yes. within our membership about the scale. If you're someone you're like I'm really still struggling with my relationship with the scale yeah you join you put scale into the community group so and you get 10 videos. meetings yeah okay so this is the next most common question well what is my perfect calorie deficit number we're so used to numbers yeah like we're so like tell me how many calories I need to eat yeah and here's the thing even if I gave you a friggin number or the internet gives you a number can't we just all have an honest conversation that that number, you will not follow it. Also, you will not be accurate with it. It's just human behavior behind that particular, like it's just, we're always looking for the optimal yes, way to, to lose, lose weight. weight. So yeah. we're like, Hey, what is my perfect number? Yeah. Honestly, Give me a number and I'm like, it doesn't matter. matter because I could tell you that the optimal way to lose weight is this, this huge long list. You're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be consistent with it. Yeah. So it's instead of looking at what's the optimal way to lose weight as if you're a robot, yeah. we need to start thinking, what is the optimal way for me to lose for weight? For you. For me. And you need like, as a I, human yes. with values and needs and, and preferences. resources. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, what's important for you guys to know as well is that a calorie deficit is a range. Yes, that's okay? a great conversation. Listen to this one, you so, guys. So uh, you, when you are creating a calorie deficit, I could have created a calorie deficit yesterday and been in a deficit of 100 calories. Yeah. Okay? I would still have been in a deficit. Mm -hmm. I could have been in a calorie deficit yesterday and been in a deficit of 1,000 calories. So it's not like your body is like deficit day, surplus, surplus day. day. Literally, your body is like, plus 100, minus 1,000, minus 13. So th when you create a deficit, it literally is just labeling less energy in than out. So there's no perfect number. Yeah. Because also when you think about it, the energy coming out changes every single day, just like the energy coming in. So how can I have a perfect deficit number when I don't even know, you cannot calculate, your watch doesn't tell you how much you burned today being you. Like it's just, it might tell you like, oh, during your walk, yeah. it's about 200. It's just an estimation. That's just estimelo. So there's no like chip, like, oh, ding, ding, ding. Like this is the energy coming out today. Yeah. Oh, today was a busy day. Oh, you sat all day. Yeah. So every single day is different. It really is. So there's no stop chasing a number. And, and we really like to look at it on average mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Because again, some days you're more active than yeah. others. Some days you're more hungry than others. Yes. On the weekend, you're going to eat more probably. So lifestyle so is different. So looking at seven days, I really like to look at seven days to say, okay, yeah. I want to create a deficit this week. Yes. What might that look like to me? So just know that it's a range. And instead of asking yourself, what's my perfect calorie deficit number? I want you to ask yourself, how can I create a, a calorie life, deficit lifestyle, lifestyle for so, myself? Yeah. So a lot of people think also that a calorie deficit lives in like a certain food mm -hmm. or a certain way of eating. So people will say like, if I eat clean, I'm going to be in a calorie deficit. Hey, no. Lord. Yeah. Same. So no, no behavior, no food item promises you being in a calorie deficit, do you see why now? Because a calorie deficit is not a food. It's not a food item. It's not a way of eating. It is a state of being that your body needs to be in. So just know that when you're like, I would like to lose weight, you're ultimately saying, I'd like to start creating a calorie deficit now. Okay. And that is a lifestyle. Like how can I start cre um, c consuming less than I was before with my lifestyle, not in a certain food item? Gives you, you so much freedom. You don't need to know how many calories you're currently consuming, how many calories your, your you body burns. You, what you do need to know is take a, a look back. Have you been gaining weight this last couple months? Have you been maintaining your weight? Have you been losing weight? Yeah. That will tell you, yeah. okay, I've been in a, a, a small surplus. Yeah. I've been about maintenance. I've been in a small deficit or a large deficit or a large surplus. Yeah. Where are you at? Okay. Yeah. If you are sitting before us today and you want to lose weight, you just need to find a way to consume less calories mm -hmm. than you're currently consuming. Yeah. Now, 
The internet, internet gets upset when we say that. We do not mean deprive yourself. No, we do not we mean, mean starving. starving. We mean literally take a step back of your life. Yeah. Look at the seven days in your life. Yeah. Do not pick the places where you think you yeah. should. Where could you consume less calories? So many people right now, list to me an area that you could consume less calories without feeling deprived. Mm -hmm. So maybe a, a, just a little bit of a smaller portion. I think sport, like that's, a, that's such an easy, easy quick. conversation that people understand. Like think about like you're not changing anything that's in your fridge or your pantry. Just you're being more intentional and mindful when you sit down and you eat. So less of what you're already eating would be less calories. We actually have a member that's really focused on that right now. And I okay. think she lost, she lost like seven pounds last month. Oh, and wow. that was the only Let change think, yeah. that she wanted to focus on. Yeah, I think that's an easy change that can oh. be done today because you don't have to go grocery shopping. You don't have to change anything. You know that no food is good or bad. No food stops you from being in a calorie deficit so that you can just like sit down and be like, I'm going to be more mindful about how much I am consuming right now. Like instead of going to McDonald's and getting the Big Mac meal and the fries, what if you got... A hamburger and fries. Yeah. Like that could cut a couple, couple Or like, like do need fries today? Just the, just the Big Mac. You do need fries. Um, you know, there's so many areas where you could consume less calories without yeah. it feeling so dramatic. Maybe it's the oil that you're using. Maybe it's the salad dressing you're using. Yeah. Maybe it's um, the standing in your pantry eating the crackers before you cook supper. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's really as simple as that. Yeah. Okay. So one of the questions that's often asked is, do I need to be in a calorie deficit every single day? Absolutely not. You just have to be in a calorie deficit on average. So it's like at the end of the at the end of the month, if you want to be able to pay your bills, do you need to be saving money every single day? Nope. Some days you spend more and blah blah blah. But as long as on average you end up being able to pay your bills, you were you were good. Check. Check. Okay. And it's the same thing when the whole paying your bills thing. When if you want to save money, what's the one thing you need to do this month? It's spend less money than you make. That's the only one thing you have to do. You right. do not need to know the total number uh, amount of money that you spend every single day in order to achieve that. You simply need to spend less than you make. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Change the page. Yes. So why you can't calculate your your calorie deficit? So a lot of people want to start cal like. Why are, look, first of all, I don't know who you are and why you have so much time to calculate shit, no? but that is a lot of work. No? Uh. And for me, it's like, I think it just, you, we, we're not talking about the uh, effects, the consequences of adding up and having a number and like, because there are long-term consequences of that. We create relationships with a certain number that we should be eating. We create relationships with certain foods that we should be eating. Like it, we don't talk about that enough. We're like, oh, well I lost weight. So that worked. Did it though, because first of all, probably the weight is gained back. And also now you're like afraid of eating anything else than fish. Though. So like there are consequences of putting all of your energy and focus on calculating and weight loss. Honestly, there are consequences to only focusing on weight loss. Absolutely. Yeah. So why you can't calculate your deficit? Honestly, we're going to spend actually kind of a significant chunk of time talking about the whole calculation piece of things yeah. because it's so hard for people to grasp the concept of not counting calories. Yeah. If, if they think calorie deficit, okay, well, I need to count. I need to count. I need to. I have to. I have to count. And it's like, but you don't have to count calories to lose weight. Like, think about it. You just have to be in a calorie deficit. It's like, I have to count to be in a calorie deficit. No, you don't. You just have a really a relationship with it that you think it's the only way, but it really is about no longer saying I have to do one certain thing because that one certain thing is not going to be around forever and you will not want to do that forever. You so we, we need to like stop saying I have to do a certain thing to lose weight. And we're not just going into this with rainbows and butterflies, you guys. Oh, no, no, no. We have an actual system, an actual tool within our membership to help you create awareness. awareness. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into awareness after we get into why you can't create a calculus. Okay. A deficit. okay, so when you're trying to calculate a deficit, you actually have to calculate two things. You have to calculate what's going out and what's coming in. Out is what we told you about already. BMR, thermal effect of food, exercise. Honestly, it's estimation, 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 estimation. Yeah. Could you get an estimation of how many calories come out on average? Sure. Yeah. You could. You could. Uh, you, could. you could go on the internet and you could find that. Great. Okay? Yeah. That's the easy part, honestly. Yeah. Calories in, I am sorry, counting your calories in is a massive undertaking. Yeah. 90% of people who count their calories are 
underestimating how many calories they consume yeah about by most people are under by 60 percent yeah so when they think they're consuming 1200 they're really consuming 16 1700 yeah on average yeah why does this happen it's not we're not bad no we're not it's not that we're doing i mean we're doing it wrong but it's because we're humans yeah. so unless you are committed to weighing and measuring every single thing that goes in your mouth for the rest of your life for seven days on repeat that includes even taking something out of a package and putting it on the scale because packaged food isn't exactly what it says. They have a variation, plus or minus 20%. Yeah. So if this is the tool you've chosen to use, then you need to choose to use it. Yeah, you're gonna do that on the weekends. What are you gonna do when you're like yeah. at a, a potluck? Potluck, restaurant, yeah, well, going to someone's house. Because even the restaurant, that's just an estimation that's oh, on that menu. Now. And some of them don't even have that. Oh yeah. Um, and what about when you make your family a soup? How are you going to calculate that? Are you going to like do that? How are you going to? Um, so we just calorie counting is so difficult. Yeah. So we leave space for that conversation when we talk about calorie counting because it's like it's like thrown out there like it's going to be so friggin easy. We had a member say, OK, I want to create a calorie deficit. I'm going to count calories for a little bit just to see um, how it goes. She goes day one stopped. <laughs> We think it's nah, so easy. It's hard. It's so oh, hard. Especially it, if you if you are it like feels so trapped. If I was like in, if I lived in an apartment by myself, maybe. Yeah. And but even like, then you would like cheat it. You know what I mean? But even then. But like when I think about like my family and like it's just so hard. Now, on top of it being hard, mm -hmm. it is facilitating an unhealthy yeah, relationship it really is for so many and people. i think that's the conversation we want to bring to the table how it's, damaging it can be exactly so it you it almost teaches you to ignore your hunger cues yeah so oh you're still hungry but you have no calories left too bad yeah you are not hungry but you have more calories left well i need to eat all the rest of my calories yeah i wouldn't want to not eat enough it creates anxiety around certain foods. Yes. I used to have so much anxiety around chicken soup that I made for my family because I couldn't count it. Yeah. How ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Anyways, so not only is it difficult, it's inaccurate, it facilitates an unhealthy relationship with food, and it's not necessary for weight loss. So why are we even doing this? So why are we doing this? Yeah. The, the, the only thing I see that's good about cal counting your calories is it helps you to create calorie awareness. Well, why do we need counting in order to do that? We don't. Yeah. So instead of us teaching our members to count calories, we teach our members to create calorie awareness. Yeah. So calorie counting is what you guys know, you're familiar with. Calorie counting is- You have is, a number that you wanna hit every day. You have a goal number and yeah. you try and, tr Add and things count up. Yeah. every single calorie that goes in your mouth. That yeah. is calorie counting. Yeah. Calorie awareness is simply creating awareness around what you're consuming. Yeah. Being more intentional. Yeah. So when you choose the crackers, it's turning the package around. I feel like what's happening is we don't trust what, what we see with our members is that they don't trust themselves anymore. And I think that as in like, Hello, if I don't, I'm just going to like show up in my life. Yes, show up in your life. Be who you want to be. Be more in tune with your behaviors and how you choose to be more mindful in your life. And it's like, that is like so much scarier than counting calories. I'm like, it shouldn't be. Counting calories should be the scariest thing ever and so <laughs> overwhelming and dramatic. Okay, just show up and just be more mindful, be more connected to your choices. And that is scary for a lot of people because they've never had given the choice to do that. It's scary because the they've chance. never done it before yeah. and that's scary. It's scary because it feels like it's not enough and that it mm. won't work. Yeah. And I think it's also scary because it might take more time. Yeah. I also think that the diet industry has literally been like, you can't be trusted. Come and see us and we're gonna tell you what to eat and what not to eat because you can't be trusted. And it's like, no, you can be trusted. Take your power back, you guys. That is what we're trying to do here for women at Your Weight Loss. It's like, you are a grown ass woman. You pay your bills, you raise children, you go to work, you go to work sick. Like you do things that are just like crazy amazing, but like you don't know how to eat all of a sudden. Like you can't listen to your hunger. You don't like, we're so afraid of that side because we, we've lost like sight of what we should be doing. And I think that like, it's the biggest gift that you could give yourself is to give your power back like I am I can do this 
I got this, you know? Yeah, and it also takes off so much oh, anxiety yes. and stress. Yes. Like, I just think about my life now when I go to eat, when I go on yeah. vacation, when I'm busy. Yes. I don't, there's no, like, I can't access a deficit yeah. because I know I can. Yeah. Because it's not counting, which does not counting calories, yeah. does not coexist with vacation, mm. weekends, holidays, busyness, holidays, yeah. sick kids, summer, summer. <laughs> um, like there's we like it's so much. It's it's a beaucoup, and like that's what I don't like when I see things on the internet where they try to simplify something that I'm like, that is not a simple thing to do. That is also not accessible I to know. everyone. I know. It's like, oh, it's so simple. Like, no, it's not. Like, I'm sorry, counting points is a big deal. Like, that is like a lot on a, on a mom. Like, that is a lot on people. People will not count points forever. Let's be real here. And I just think it's like counting calories. It's, it's the same thing. And I think that like, oh, well, it's like a little simpler. No, you still have to go and figure out how many points is something. Like, it's like, so it's not even on a package Simple anymore. until they change the points. Yeah. Or that, oh. Okay. Okay. So how Ooh, to, let's get to the good stuff. Okay. So how to create a calorie deficit in your own life then. So at this point, guys, I hope that you're watching this and you're like, okay, I understand how energy comes in. I understand how, how energy, energy comes out. out. Yep. Mm -hmm. I agree that counting calories sucks. I can acknowledge that I've done that before. I also know now that if I haven't been losing weight, it's not because I am eating chocolate or I'm not blaming any type of food. I'm just not in a calorie deficit and that's okay. It's because my lifestyle doesn't put me in a calorie deficit, not because a certain behavior doesn't do it. It's my lifestyle en general. It's on average, I am not in a calorie deficit. I understand that. Okay, how could I start consume so it's like consuming less or burning more right it's basically like at this point we hope that you we, we always say that you come to your way weight loss with a backpack and yeah. it's got all your diet trauma in yeah. there yeah and before we can pack it up before we can create your way we need to unpack it now yeah. we've just scraped the surface today oh, and yes. there's more work to be done oh yeah you don't even realize you guys that you have diet noise Oof. about eating at night eating carbs weekends. eating out weekends so as you you know, go through your, 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 your weight loss journey, you'll start to actually become aware of the, that thought and realize that that thought is creating drama and all of that. We need to unpack that basically. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You have so to unlearn. There's some things unlearn. that you have to unlearn. So we're hoping at this point you feel like your backpack's kind of empty or like we're getting there or like, yeah. okay, I can see you the can light. You see space. Yes. I can see space. Yes. I see space. So how do I pack my backpack now? Mm. Okay, great. You said that I don't have to exercise, that I don't have to count calories. This is going well. <laughs> how how, how do the I, heck how do I, I lose yeah, weight? Yeah, how, I don't have to go grocery shopping. How do I lose weight? Yeah. Step one mm -hmm. is to create a awareness in your own life. Yeah. Before, step there was back. like there was like a quote. Like the first step to change is creating awareness. Yeah. It, literally. Yeah. So you are your if your goal is to lose weight, I want you to take a step back and stop focusing on weight loss yeah. and start focusing on awareness. Because no real change is going to happen without awareness. Like no real deep change in your life without creating awareness on who you are today, what you consume today. And it's not, a, it's no judgment, just step, almost stepping back and being like a, like a ghost in your own home watching you. Like yeah. what, like how do I behave? What are my habits? Like how am I, how do I, when I wake up in the morning, what are my first thoughts and what do I grab first? And how do I, what are my thoughts? Am I hungry? Am I hungry? Um, so we have a um, seven day lifestyle challenge. Yeah. So as soon as you join to be yeah. a member, you get access to this. Yeah. Um, if you choose that for yourself right away, we actually recommend that our members take an entire month to just learn yeah so there's an entire course waiting for you within the membership yeah um we just recommend that people literally take a month to learn about themselves yeah. your way weight loss and weight loss so when you join the 10-day free trial you guys like you will watch a like a 10 to 15 minute video of alicia and i saying like hello um and we're giving you a pep talk to calm down and you're here because we're doing something completely different. Yeah. We're not attacking your pantry and telling you that crackers are bad. Yeah. What we're doing is we're allowing space for you to start unlearning and learning new things mm -hmm. within a month. And the reason why we do a month is because not everyone's gonna watch a video every single day. Nope. Um, and then there's, so these unlearning uh, piece and the learning pieces within our course. And then there's a course with learning more about yourself 
Like, it's like, what are your values right now? What is, what makes you happy? <laughs> what are your priorities? What are your food values? What are your personal values? It's like, there's a lot to learn before you can create your way. So you have to leave space for that. We are so used to, I want weight loss, act. This yes. is different. Yeah. I want weight loss, learn. learn. Okay, so then once you've got learning under your belt a little bit, we're gonna really be we're gonna be really yeah. um, intentional with our awareness. Yeah. So we have a thing called the Seven Day Lifestyle Challenge. So yeah. it's a tool that we created for you to literally. The reason why it's called a challenge is you're gonna write everything down that you. It's consume. like a journal. It's like a journal. It's a food journal. Yeah. Uh, we're not attaching calories to things. No. Nope. It's the purpose of this tool is to create a deeper level of awareness around your habits and behaviors and behaviors. So I have never seen anyone complete the seven day lifestyle challenge okay, and not learn something. Yeah, because you have to do it for seven days. So like imagine writing down your, every, weekend behavior. your weekend behaviors and like you learn so much about like, and not just like, it's not just writing down. We actually have prompting questions every single day being like, is there anything you consumed today that you have no clue how many calories there, there was in there? And it's like, yeah, like this, 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 and this. Well, that, if there's so much during your day that you have no clue, it's like, uh, did you spend money today? And you have no clue what the cost was of your day. And like, you're like, yeah, I didn't know how much that sweater was. Maybe it was seven thousand dollars mm. fancy sweater online the fanciest sweater yeah, exactly ever. so that's why creating awareness and being like it's not about creating awareness that the sweater was seven thousand is that you're buying a lot of shit that you don't know how much it costs it could be you at the dollar store yeah and because like, we all know was... how that adds up yeah forty dollars okay. yeah easy bam easy. how yeah. did that happen yeah so basically the goal and and let's say you're like wow i have no idea maybe you had a trail mix this one time, go and figure out ish about how many calories. You're gonna be like, holy shit. Yeah. That was 400 calories of trail yeah. mix. Yeah. Trail maybe mix. maybe you put, figure out how much cream's in your coffee and you're like, holy shit. We did this once. This We did this. This That's, is a true, sto true this story. This is a true story. It was actually during our Tim Hortons challenge. Yeah. And we were just talking, and someone said, you know what? I'm just gonna create awareness around how many calories are in my coffee. Yeah. This person was consuming 1,200 calories of a day in their coffee with their yeah. cream and sugar or milk and sugar, whatever they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. and, and we're not, and again, we're, we're doing not saying this without, that's bad. No. We're not, we're, this is a judgment free. We are not judging how many calories are in the coffee, the trail mix, the peanut butter, the wine, the beer, yeah. the, the pizza. It's creating awareness. Yeah. So that, cause you might be like, shit, that's not worth it to me. Yeah. The trail mix. Okay. Yeah. You know, what's the worst for this is, Peep, really healthy food. Yes. Nutrient dense food. Because people go, okay, I'm on a diet. I'm going to switch. And they, they switch I'm everything. I'm going to buy all the avocados, the bag of avocados. We're eating avocados. We're making smoothie bowls. So there's like massive like uh, salads. And we're not losing weight. And then we feel frustrated yeah. and broken. Yeah. And I've seen people create smoothies. And I know when I'm looking, I'm like, that is a 400 calorie smoothie. And there's oh, nothing minimum. wrong with that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I don't want to consume 400 calories in a smoothie. No. So it's not about knowing how, it's starting with, the first step is to create a better, yeah. I'm like looking around your yeah. home because that's what you're going to be doing in your own home. Yeah. You were going to be looking around at yourself. Yeah. Because, so basically the first month when you join, it's like you're learning about all the things. You're learning about the how the program works or whatever. So you have to give yourself a month to like figure that out and learning about yourself and learning actual stuff, like the content, the course. Mm -hmm. And then month two is implementing. So that's where we're like, okay, now you have to implement all of this learning and you have to give it. And then it's just like implementing and implementing yeah. and implementing. Like there's no other step. Step three is like, keep going, adjust. Yeah. Adjusting. So yeah. Yeah. So the big step is awareness. Yeah. And then Habit. we're habits. Yeah. So the implementation process yeah. is habits. And we have an entire section, how to yes. create a habit. Yeah. So we have an entire course on how to implement and create a new habit. Like we're not just changing our weight here, guys. We're changing our life. So if you're someone that's like, hey, I want to create a habit of not eating at night, or I want to create a habit of having smaller portions or not eating like an asshole on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it then. Yeah. Let's be intentional. Let's be purposeful. Yeah. Let's find a way to remind ourselves of that habit that we're working yeah. at creating every single day. Let's make that habit as enjoyable as possible, as yeah. easy as possible, as accessible as possible. We have actual strategies to share with you mm -hmm. that make creating a new habit easier. And now I'm thinking like not to mention how we change people's way of 
talking <laughs> and thinking, it has such an impact on their weight loss journey. So that was just like the calorie deficit side, the habit side, the awareness yeah. side. But then I'm thinking about like how when people speak to us, it's like just how their language is different than how society speaks around weight loss and around, because we are chasing a lifestyle that puts us in a calorie deficit. That's a different way to say, I want weight loss. No, I am trying to find and figure out a, a lifestyle that puts me in a calorie deficit, AKA I want weight loss. It's just a different way to say it and it changes everything. It changes the game. So honestly, how are you going to do this? Yeah. You're going to create awareness. Yeah. You're going to create new habits. You're going to be within an environment and a community of other like-minded people yeah. that, and that are going to give you the support and the yeah. inspiration. Like that's such a big part of it. Then there's the mindset part mm -hmm. that Jose was just touching on. And that is also ongoing. The support is also ongoing. The awareness is ongoing. The habit is ongoing. This is like a thing that you're going to need to keep up. Yeah. Um, I want to share with you guys an example of the way that we speak. Mm. So I was watching someone, it was like a reel on Instagram anyways. And it was like, she had a bag of pretzels and she said, if you, a chocolate covered pretzels, if you say, I can't have that in my home, you will act in a way that is conducive, that is reinforcing that thought. Yeah. So your thoughts create your actions. Yes. Instead of saying, I can't have that in my home, I am working towards creating a relationship where I can have these in my home without yeah. eating way past hunger. Yeah. And you guys don't even realize the impact of the way that you speak. Oh yeah. And think on, about food. On your behaviors. On your behaviors. So if you keep telling yourself, I have to count calories, you will act in that way. If you yeah. keep saying to yourself, I can't have these in my home without eating way past hunger, you will, you will continue, continue to do that. it. Yeah. If you keep labeling certain foods as bad, when you eat one cookie, you will continue to spiral and eat 10 more because you just And then you're going to go to other things that are bad because you've already had a bad day. Like it's like insane, but the way you speak and the way you see how you eat. And so that's why I'm like, why would you think a cookie is bad? Well, I can't lose. Oh, yes, you can. You can lose weight while eating a cookie because of calorie deficit. It changes the game once you really embrace calorie deficit, how a human being loses weight. The All most the control. important thing that you guys can do is to really create awareness around how you think about mm. food, how you speak about food and your and body your and your weight loss journey. Yeah. And they are linked to your behaviors. behaviors. So that's a lot to unpack. Yeah. So like, for example, like weekends are always that you, a lot of people want to work on their behaviors on the weekend. Okay. A lot of people are like, I'd love to behave differently on the weekend. So it's like, for me, when I wanted to work on that, I never attacked my behaviors. It was not like, it's because of that. It's because of date night. It's because of whatever. I knew that it was because of my thoughts and my relationship with the weekend. Why do I wake up on Saturday morning and say, let's go. You know what I mean? Game on. Yeah, exactly. So like, why is that happening? And then going back into like, okay, well, it's because maybe during the week you feel deprived during the week. And so when Saturday comes around, it's like, oh, good. I can have whatever I want. Why can't you have whatever you want on a Tuesday? Because having what I want means I eat everything. Does it though? Does it have to? Like, it's like... It really is kind of crazy how our brains have been who played with uh, in the diet industry. We have so much to unpack because if you're if you're really looking into your behaviors, what is what is um, what is ah, conduced like what is happening behind the scenes is really behind like your thoughts. Yeah. So I want to talk about what Holly said here. So my hubby dropped 35 pounds just by taking sugar out of his coffee and tea. Um, I hated him a little bit. I get that. So what's so important here, I'm just giving you an example of how we speak about things. You know, someone might say, I lost weight because of sugar, getting rid of sugar, getting, cutting sugar out of his tea and coffee, reduced the number of calories that were coming in his body every single day. And therefore he created a calorie deficit. Yeah. So it's, we do not, it's not that behavior. Like let's not attach his behavior. And I understand why you said it, Holly, but like, it's, oh, so, yeah. it's, it's so important to like basically realize what happened, he created a calorie deficit. And for him, that was one of the things that he did as a behavior. And the reason why we're so like strong on that is because we don't want you guys to attach any specific behavior to weight, weight loss or weight gain. Yeah. 
So, you know, I gained weight because I ate out. Nope, you gained weight because you created a calorie surplus. I lost weight because I, I stopped eating at night. Nope, you lost weight because you created a calorie deficit. And when we really just look at it that way, it really opens up your eyes to what is possible. And that you can create your own way. Um, even my dad, so my dad will, uh, it's so funny to me, but he'll be like, you just, I don't know why people are struggling with their weight. They just have to stop eating at, after seven. I stopped eating after seven and I lost my weight and I'm maintaining it off. And I'm like, pop, <laughs> you lost weight because you cut out an entire meal after 7 PM, which means you just like are consuming less calories. That could be in the morning. That could be in the afternoon. So don't attach your success to just because you just started consuming less, just like intermittent fasting. So tons of people will say, I lost weight because I started to intermittent fast. No, you lost weight because you cut an entire meal out of your, your day <laughs> and now you're consuming less, but you could intermittent fast and not lose weight because you replace those calories later on during the day. So it's no with particular action. So just like always like reminding yourself of how a body loses weight, how a body gains weight, and that it's not attached to one particular food item or behavior. And even that, your dad just saying, well, why don't they just stop eating at night? Even that, like, even if everyone knew, even if everyone knew, they still wouldn't stop eating at night. No, because I, like, I'm like, I was, still eat at night and I- Like, like if that I was the to. magic, and I was like, you just don't eat at night and you'll lose weight. People would still eat at night. Yes, because they don't all want to do that. And because it's hard. Yes. That be, that is they, for, because they don't want to do that. Like everyone knows that smoking is bad for them, but yeah. many people still smoke. Exactly. Why? Because they've created a habit yeah. and it's difficult to break it's hard. It's, it's hard. It actually goes really well with um, our uh, podcast today. So if you want to listen to our podcast today, it's um, just another, like just change your lifestyle. Like. Oh, no, yeah. oh, just, just change no, your just lifestyle. Bah, oui, bah. Change your lifestyle. C'est pas du... See, that's not easy, no, changing your lifestyle. It's like when I tell Neil that I'm feeling a certain emotion. He goes, He's like, well, don't feel that well, way. Just don't feel that way. Oh mm. my gosh, Neil, I never you thought of so that. so much for yeah. that advice. I think you should go into counseling. But honestly, <laughs> nah. we do that with weight loss. It, we weight loss has weight. got to be one of the most difficult, difficult things to accomplish. Like there are billions of people on this planet that are currently trying to, trying to create weight loss for themselves yeah. and are struggling. Yeah. And yet when we decide we're going to lose weight, we're like, Oh yeah, I'm just going to like count calories and I'm just going to like lose 10 pounds this month. And it's like, do you know how, how hard difficult? that is? So acknowledging what we're trying to do is so important because it gives us reasonable expectations. Yeah. And that, you know, it's like hope, like it's difficult, definitely accessible to you. But I do think that what makes it so difficult for the billions of people trying to lose weight is this. A hundred percent. So that's why we're 100%. trying to change that. One hundred percent. So we don't just work on at your weight loss, what you're putting in your mouth. Oh yeah. We no, work on this. Oh yeah. This is the bulk of what we're working on. Cause that's the issue. That is the issue. That's the problem. What is holding you back from weight loss right now is, is your beliefs and your thoughts and your, your knowledge, honestly. It's, it's what's up here that's really stopping you from creating your way. It really is, you guys. It's not what you're eating. No. So, you know, we're just kind of like finishing up. So if you guys have any other questions, I would love for you guys to put yeah. it in the comments. Um, after this is done, anyone that signed up, I will send them the link to the recording. Yes. If you want to rewatch it, feel free to share it with anyone. Yeah. There will be a little homework thing um, attached to it. So it's the homework was the purpose was like, after you watch this, I'd love for you guys to print it. Or if you don't have a printer, just like look at it and digest it. And there's some good prompting questions there for you yeah. um, to hopefully facilitate some changes yeah. within your own life. Some, if that's some, some reflections, some reflections, um, some plans yeah. of what you want for yourself. Yeah. And we just hope that people watch this and feel optimistic Yes, and feel like weight loss is accessible to them. I also hope you learn something. Yes. Tell us what you learned. Like, Oh, I learned this, or this made me think of that. Or I like this, that you, I like this part. Like, Whatever you feel right now, I think is important to acknowledge. And I hope that you watch this in like a space that you had, you had actual space to like take it in. Um, so if you're just starting this uh, live or if you're just like, just like make sure that you're taking the time to restart this and like be like no kids around, no uh, Always no kids around. Always no kids around. No kids around. Okay. We like did it. We did it. We are like trained yeah. professionals now. 
always refreshing and knowledge. Yes. Yay, thank you, Rashid. Thank you so much. I think it's really important to recognize that this is something like everything, because it's not the, what we're trying to accomplish with you, all of you, is not the average result. It's not the like quick fix, detox, four week, whatever. It's really, we're trying to like change your life. We're trying to change the way you think and your beliefs around weight loss so that you can achieve something that you've never achieved before. And honestly, we're just trying to be really loud about the service we provide and how it can literally change so many aspects of your life because it changes how you think. The minute you change your perception, you change your intentions, you change like what you're actually trying to achieve. Um, what you're trying to achieve at your loss is not the average no. result. It's like next level. You're trying to achieve greatness. So Jackie is wondering how long on average it takes for to change one's mindset. So there's oh. no, there's no average. There's no, there's also no switch. Yeah. Because what is mindset? It's like, a bunch of beliefs and, and language. It can, it's, and it evolving. keeps evolving. It keeps evolving. It keeps changing. You will get to a point in your journey where you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't think, think that, that way, way anymore. anymore. And we all have a mindset and, and thoughts around different parts and yes. you might work on weekends first. That might be your weekend mindset. And yeah. then you work on the types of food. And then there's and then body image on... mindset. Oof, like there's a lot. No. Um, and for me, when I see uh, my, my progression or my evolution, the last two, three years, and I've been like working on who I am for a decade um it's like still keeps evolving because i keep changing as a human being because of a different season of life there's the season of life where your kids are so little and then there's season of life where they're now teenagers and you're dealing with different emotions and different perceptions there's se seasons of life bring different beliefs also the people that you you surround yourself with that is yeah. also a big part of your belief system so like it your mindset is everything that you believe in and how you see the world and how you see you that keeps evolving all the time. That's why we say stay connected. Um, and then what, what Alicia say, you look back and you're like, I love where I'm going with my mindset yeah. right now. That's how you know you're like on the right path. And for some people, they might be like, oh, okay, so forever. And it's like, that's terrible news. It's actually great news because you're not on a diet forever. You're actually giving yourself the best yeah. gift you could ever give yourself, yeah. which is we're constantly working, working on, on yourself. You. Putting like, you on the priority, putting yourself, priority list for once. Like forever, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. But it's a beautiful process and it's not, it doesn't look a certain way. It's not us always feeling deprived and restricted and given her. That's not what it looks like. It literally looks like us putting ourselves on the priority list. I love all of your uh, comments, everyone. We appreciate you so much. Please know that like weight loss can be such a beautiful journey. We keep reminding the internet of that because it's seen as like a society is really scared of weight loss right now or really sees it, sees it as like this, a very negative thing. And I'm like, dieting is very negative because dieting leaves you feeling deprived, hungry, uh, not, not chasing at all. You're just chasing a, a you're chasing happiness through a number yeah. and that's not gonna you're chasing thinness yeah, because thinness, you think yeah. thinness comes happiness. happiness yeah so dieting sucks because it's a it, it's a feeling of suck but like weight loss doesn't have to suck and that's really important to us it's accessible your way it really really is you have to believe that though so again beliefs turns into your actions if you never believe that you can lose weight this way you will never lose weight this way um, Jody and Holly, thank you guys so thank much you for so your much. beautiful comments. Yeah. We really, really appreciate that. It's, it's a nice reminder to see that, uh, we we're make making a difference. A difference. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, happy Monday. I mean, you're starting your week off pretty great. Though. What a great way to start your week. Okay. So 10 day free trial, you guys yes. ends tomorrow ends tomorrow. And we usually just have that a, a couple times a year. So the next time you'll see that probably November. So why not join? It is free right now. It's our biggest sale of the year. Um, because we know how so for some, they need to be in to understand how it can really have an yeah. effect. So if you're still watch, if you're watch this and you're not a part of your weight loss, like it's time. Yeah. It ends tomorrow. Share the link to your friends. Okay. Bye.